They say that the most important thing to consider when buying a home is location, location, location. But that's not true. The most important thing to consider when buying a home is, is it haunted? <laughs> I like central AC. I like a two-car garage. But I don't like to walk into my living room and find my dog levitating. <laughs> I can just imagine inviting all my buddies over to my haunted house. We hear a moan. Yo, Grayson, you didn't tell me you had a roommate. Be like, oh yeah, that's uh, that's Kevin, the uh, transparent headless child that lives in my attic. <laughs> He's kind of a mooch, though. Like, I don't care where you spend eternity, but if you spend it under my roof, at least offer to split rent. <laughs> so, so like. If you were a realtor, how do you sell a haunted house? Like, how do you disclose that information? Like, oh yeah, it's got hardwood floors, granite countertops, three people were murdered in it, <laughs> really nice walk-in closet. <laughs> See, if you don't take my advice tonight, and you do buy a haunted house, a house inspector is not going to cut it. You need a haunted house inspector. You need somebody who's going to inspect the foundation of your home and then break open a Ouija board and perform an exorcism. You're going to need somebody who's going to check your wall for mold and then check your wall for portals to hell. I can just, I can just hear them like, yeah, just get a little caulk, seal it right up. Let's just take care of the demon problem. So I'm knowledgeable about this because I like scary stuff. A lot of people do. Um, I like scary movies, because honestly, there's nothing better than sitting safely on your couch watching terrible things happen to other people. <laughs> and everyone's got their fears. Clowns, airplanes, old dudes poking you on Facebook. <laughs> I get it. I get it. But what I don't get is everyone's fear of spiders. Like, spiders are kind of creepy. But I can think of one animal that you guys should be ten times more afraid of, and that's an octopus. You see, just like a spider, an octopus has eight legs. But an octopus can put you in a headlock. I'll see a spider and I'll be like, it kind of makes me uncomfortable, but I'm not afraid of it putting me in a full Nelson. So I was dating this girl last year. She warned me that she had some skeletons in her closet. And I was like, okay, I want to see some cool fossils. <laughs> but then when I uh, when I opened her closet, there were any skeletons in there. Just a bunch of daddy issues. <laughs> My friend just moved to a new uh, new city, and he was having a really hard time adjusting to all the change. And he told me, hey Grayson. Well, I, the, the way I found out how to cope with this is I just I just call up a friend and I say, hey man, I'm having a really bad day. I need somebody to talk to. I need somebody to vent to. And that's totally cool. That's totally healthy. But it's unhealthy to say the same thing at 2 a.m. through the speaker box at the Taco Bell drive-thru. <laughs> Again, that was my friend. Definitely not me. Thank you guys. One more time for Grayson Murray.